Lions Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday, March 2nd. After the ISM services was came in kind of in line, uh, the yields went higher. There were some inflationary pressure <laughs> indications. Um, so, but also it was just the pressure of the chart, right? Let's look at yields here. Um, all cards on the table were short 10, so we do have some bias here, but um, here's the dailies. So we have basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight days where 398 was resistance. We broke through. Now 398 should be support. Um, first stop is 406, which is this low here, but looks like we're going to head back up to um, 424. What does that mean? Uh, stocks don't like this. Next. Um, you can see Tokyo, we broke the, in Tokyo last night, we broke these lows. Um, this is 42. Um, and now we're just sitting here. Looks like we're going to have a, a red day. and Looks like the dollar is going to move higher today. And looks like Friday, if we get a hot one from ISM services, um, you know, dollar yen might close the week at 140. This is going to be our focus <coughs> next two trading days. Um, you know, with our eyes firmly on the factors that are causing this. So we'll be watching tens. We'll be watching stocks. Um, and then the chart will help us give us some some ideas. The reason we think this is good, this can go so much higher is the Tuesday bar. Basically bearish engulfing, kind of. Uh, but also doji. Resisted at the 200 day. It was close to two and a half sigma at its highs. Then you have your Wednesday through the lows with some pretty good power, right? All the way down to 135.25. But then doji close again. So this is two indecisive days. Now you know there's going to be stops above 136.90. So you don't really have to get long dollar yen here. Um, you can just wait. Probably for 01, right? 137.01. Or if you're being really conservative, you want to buy through the 200 day, which is 137.20. If you're Barney Big Balls, you're long here, uh, you add through 90, and then you add through 20. Uh, and you have a packet on for what looks like, you know, what they call like, in the industry a five star trade. Um, this is lining up to be five star. I mean, it's not lining up. This is five star. Uh, you know there's going to be risk at 90. You know there's going to be systems at the 200 day, and you have rates. You know terminal rate looks like five and a half. Some people are saying six. Carcassian is um, talking about like you know he's just outlandishly hawkish. The Fed guy, and it looks like the the 10 year has flipped the script and. We are going to close this recessionary gap with the two-year. Because um, it doesn't look like the U.S. is in a wild recession. Excuse me. <laughs> Yawning. Sorry about that. Um, actually, no, I'm not. Suck it up. Uh, so that's dollar-yen. Let's look at euro. Euro's got a couple things pulling and pushing on it, right? So ECB was also hawkish. So if you're going to look for a horse um, to buy dollars against, it's not Euro. Uh, there's plenty of other horses out there. Uh, the Aussie horse, this is risk off plus dollar strength, the dollar Swiss horse. Um, this is low rates, not quite as sexy of a setup as dollar yen. You know, the reason dollar yen is five stars, the confluence of signals. Um, 
For those of you who don't know what that word is, go read some books. Um, 940, 9440, kind of interesting in, in dollar Swiss, but I don't know. Euro Swiss is bid. You could argue that there's a there's kind of a confluence in dollar Swiss as in rates high or Euro Swiss is bid, so you want to get long dollar Swiss. Rather than adding on breaks and all of that shit, um, dollar Swiss is more of a, uh, I don't know, it's more of a hunter and gatherer type of plan. So if you took this on the hourlies, you're like, okay, what am I going to do? I'm just going to try and grab some dollar Swiss, maybe get tiny here just because we're making a new high and then look to pick up some low ones in dollar Swiss because dollar Swiss just does stupid shit. Why does it do stupid shit? Because Euro Swiss uh, is driving the bus a lot of times in dollar Swiss where dollar yen is driving the bus 90% of the time. Euro yen is just like a bystander um, or at least in this in this uh, environment, Euro yen is a bystander. There were days when Trichet was the ECB governor where Euro yen was driving it. Now dollar yen is driving the bus. Anyway, babbling here, um, 66 paid dollar yen. I'm going to get cut this short. Look, uh, not really a great environment to be long gold, even though we put in this huge uh, three-day move from 05 to basically 45. Uh, higher yields, higher dollar yen, higher dollar Swiss. Not really a great environment to be long gold. In fact, you could probably sell gold 1860. Uh, we were long yesterday comfortably. Today we're not. This is the life of a, of a short-term trader, right? So every day you walk in, you open to new ideas, open to directional ideas. Uh, that's how we roll. Euro sterling. We sold high ones yesterday just on the stretchy stretch, but, you know, whatever. Ten pips. Um, I don't know what to do with this. That was a big bar yesterday. Sterling... Doesn't look that great. Um, I could give you a million reasons why that that is true, um, but but here's here's an interesting chart, right? One nineteen twenty, the two hundred day is also two hundred day is less important in cable. One nineteen sixteen, and then you have this this low here, which is the neckline that we talked about. In January, we're like, is this going to be the neckline? Are we going to be selling through through these lows, 118.41? I can tell you we are going to be selling through those lows whenever we get there. Is it going to be today? Are we going to go 130 points lower? Maybe. Do I want to sell when we're 100, down 130 points? Let's see. Let's see. But this is, um, this is not a bad setup here. Two lows here, 119.30. And the 200 day at uh, 16, at 17. Uh, so keep an eye on this. What does this mean for Euro Sterling? Euro Sterling can probably go a fair bit higher. So careful on the fade there. All right, I got to go. 70 paid dollar yen. Bye, 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 bye.